So here we go, live down at the Nottinghamshire County Show, here at Newark Showground, and uh, we're just having a look at the vintage section. Now, I find this fascinating, because it's going back in time, this is. Uh, we've got an Alice Chalmers um, baler there. Now, that looks, it's, it's pretty impressive, isn't it? I mean, these things have got some age to them, and this baler here, look, the Massey Ferguson, and um, we've got a, a row of vintage tractors all, all down here. Uh, fantastic to see all, all the effort that people have put into the, to the show today. It really is impressive. We've got a super, super major over there, and look, it's just just put a bale out the back there. It's fantastic to see. We've got Mr. Goddard and a few locals there. And uh, yeah, yeah, the weather's not brilliant. too bad. At least it's not raining, eh, Josh? Yeah, it's not too bad at all. Yeah, fantastic. So, Josh, uh, you work for Farmstar. Yep. And uh, you're a local local uh, ag dealer then. Yeah. So, uh, what does it mean to you then being at the show today it and tomorrow? Just kind of gets our name out there a bit, really. It's uh, it's good for us. We get to see the customers. Everyone still knows what you're doing. You can display everything that you've got for sale. I mean, we've got everything here that we do. I see you've got mowers and all tractors, sorts of tractors. Yeah, we've even got the parts spot here with still equipment. It just kind of lets our name out to the local, uh, local public, really, knowing what we do. And it's a good way to get interacting with them, really. Yeah, and that's it. And I suppose people that that aren't used to the, the ag industry and that sort of thing, it, it gives a big insight, doesn't it? To, yeah, yeah. to what a tractor is actually all about and what a forklift is all yeah, about. It's, the gen it's, the it's, general, general person wouldn't walk, wouldn't walk into an ag dealer, they wouldn't just go into an exactly. ag dealer for any reason, but here they'll walk past and see the ag dealer and think, oh, I'll just have a quick chat them. What does this do? What does that do? And they ask questions and it, yeah, I suppose it's good for the, uh, but it's good for the name, really. Yeah. Helps and, it's, us and it's great you're supporting the, the local show as well. Big, yeah, yeah, we're happy, always happy to support. Big thing, so fun, brilliant job. Okay, thank, thank you, Josh. Cheers. Have a good day. Good day. Good day. So good day. we're in the vintage section here. I mean, in the, in the background there, um, we've got the old Tedder there, haven't we? There's just... Yeah, that's a Viking Acrobat Tedder. Tedder, yeah. I mean... So what, what, a lot of those were sold in the 1960s, throwing uh, right hay up. They weren't, weren't the best of machines, but there were thousands of them sold. So we're going back to the 60s now, so we're going back in time, we've got this Alice Chalmers uh, baler here. Yeah. Uh, how, how old is this one? Well, this, this, one, this baler would be um, possibly, I, I don't know the exact date, it would possibly the early 50s. Early 50s, right, so we're going yeah. back yeah. back a bit more in, in, in time, but it's just fantastic to see all this all this vintage equipment. I mean, you've got a shed at home, haven't you, James, with, with all sorts of vintage machinery in there, haven't you? You've got one of good to scrap iron <laughs> So, uh, but what, what's your favourite, James? What's, is the Major, the Forbes well, Major, your favourite? Or? He's very impressed with this tractor. My father bought it from uh, Brooks of Newer in December 1957. Wow. Um, and and uh, as we've progressed, we've, we've kept it on the farm. Yeah. Um, so it's got a lot of sentimental value yeah, in this one. It's got a lot of uh, family history. Family history, yeah. Um, and we know the full story of the tractor. Yeah. So, that's brilliant to see. And I find it fascinating that the history of where we started with like this Alice Chalmers baler, and now we've gone to the big Massey balers, the, the balers that are all automatic, and it's, it's just it's fantastic to see the progression through through farming, really, isn't it? We're talking about a baler here, we probably did five to eight and eight, and they were now doing hundreds, 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 hundreds per day. No, it's fantastic. Brilliant. And the, the, the progress of this one in the baler for the last one. Yeah, no, it's really fascinating. So, yeah, thank you very much for talking to us, James. So, we've got uh, Julie, Jackie and Anthony here. So, how, how are we doing, guys? You all right? Yeah, good, right. Good, 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 good. Good, good. Good, good. Good, good. So, you've got a wonderful stand here. Yeah. Thank you. So, so, what are you guys promoting today, then? What? We run a, a shopping, out the shopping centre in Spalding. Um, and we're just this summer putting in a million pounds worth of leisure. Wow. Which is an American diner. We've got a JCB Young Drivers Zone, which will be fabulous for the kids. Uh, I saw that the other day advertised. Yeah, that would be It's going to be amazing. Yeah. And we've got the opening on the 30th of June, 1st of July. Big weekend and lots of entertainment going on. We've got a treetop village. We've got golf. It's just going to be amazing. Awesome. It's worth a visit. Fantastic. I mean, the JCB bit, that really excites me because, well, I sell JCB. Yeah, so, oh, yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's pretty, yeah, pretty exciting. So, and then also you're doing the, the, the yeah. taxi, the water taxi. I operate the water taxi company, which links Spalding Town Centre with Springfield's shopping outlet and also the self-drive boats as well. Uh, just Fantastic. another attraction, the only one in the area. In fact, I think you're probably the, the leading one in the area, aren't you? We're the only one in the area, which is so we're quite unique in Spalding. Yeah. Only 50 minutes down the road from here, down the A17, easy to find, easy access from everywhere. And uh, I've got Eddie Allen here and also Will Hill, so they're part of the Young Farmers Club. And uh, Will, what's your role? 
So I'm the, the show chair, so I've had a big involvement in basically what's behind me and all around us, which is all the exhibits in the show, as well as Stockton and all of that. We're Fantastic. To get that all prepared for today and tomorrow. Yeah, and we've got some amazing sculptures behind, and yeah, people have made some big effort, haven't they, really? Yeah, a lot of effort. Obviously. Yeah, it's fantastic. And, and Eddie, what's, what's your role? Uh, I am the uh, county chairman for Nottinghamshire. I overrule everything throughout the year. Um, help Will out when he needs help at the show. Obviously, got the rally coming up later on in the year. But yeah, just basically just helping everyone out, making sure everything runs sweet and uh, making the big decisions, really. So it's uh, all, all good fun. So, in, in the uh, the marquee behind there, so what have we got in there? Have, so have people been we've got making a stuff? A variety of things. So, we've got the Cube exhibit, which is a national one, which hopefully the winner of this will go on to another show, which is um, the national competition final. Then we've got the lawnmower racing at one o'clock. There's so all the lawnmowers there behind us. Yeah, that looks that looks really good fun. I think it's. it's uh, I think it's uh, a main draw uh, to the show, and it's really good uh, yeah. for YFC. So it gets everyone around the ring in there. Uh, yeah, yeah. exciting, as exciting. Well as in the tent, we've got loads of cakes and bacon, as well as other little crafts and stuff. Might be able so to have really a piece good. of cake later. Then. <laughs> Maybe. Fantastic. And just a little bit about young farmers. Then, so it's not just for farmers, is it? If if people want to join, yeah, it's, it's for anyone, isn't it? They can get involved. Yeah. As soon as you'll start, you'll not want to leave. You'll not believe what you can do. It's possible it is anyway. You can go anywhere. You can travel with YFC. You can do anything, really. If you want to do it, you, you go and do it. Yeah. So if people want to join, what, what do people what, what do people need to do? Uh, just find a club. Go on to uh, Knott's YFC. Uh, there's, we've got a website. We've got a Facebook page. So if you go on there, you can find your local club and you can join that. It's really easy to do, you just go along when they meet and you, you'll find some people, they're really easy to talk to, you can get on and you'll just have a great time basically. Fantastic, alright guys, well thank you for, for talking to us. And uh, we have the Chief Steward here in the, in the pig section, and, and how's the day they going? Brilliant, very well, yeah, good weather, good entries, yeah, everything's going very well. Fantastic, too. and we just saw Chris just walk through, uh, who, who we just spoke yeah, to. Yeah, about uh, the winners. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Fantastic. So have you, have you had plenty of entries then? Good entries written, uh, well up on, uh, on previous years, yes. Fantastic. Brilliant. Good. So this is happening all throughout the day, is it? The, the yes, this judging? morning we've got all the old traditional breeds, and then this afternoon we've got modern breeds. Alright, More commercial breeds. Fantastic. And, and how, how many people travel quite far to, to come to the country? Or the main local? Uh, a, a mixture, really. We've got the likes of Chris, who's yep. li literally uh, on the doorstep. Quite, quite a few in uh, Lincolnshire. Not many in, not in uh, the county of Nottinghamshire. Uh, uh, but, uh, uh, yeah, John. quite a few from Lincolnshire. And then, yeah, you uh, doing? Uh, a few from down there. Fantastic. Brilliant. So, how long have you been a chief steward? Have you done it for a number of years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yes, I think I've been stewarding the pig for 35 years or something like that. Oh, right. Brilliant, yes. Yeah, so let Probably been chief steward for about 20, 25. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Loads, loads of experience. So here we are then down at the Nottinghamshire County Show then, live at Newark Showground, and I've got Roger Jackson here, who's the chairman of the show. So how are we doing, Roger? Oh, very well, actually, yeah. yeah the, the weather's with us. Um, yeah, no, no, no rain in No, no. And, no, and the public's coming through the gates very nicely, and the show look, looks beautiful. Look at this main ring there, it's absolutely yeah. pristine. Um, no, busy judging cattle, sheep and pigs at the moment. Show jumping going on in the uh, Matt, new Matty Brown ring. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, on the whole, looks a really, really good show, and I hope a lot more people come along and enjoy it. Yeah, that's no, good. We've been around uh, the pigs, we've been looking uh, the horses, we've, we've been everywhere, and yeah. it's just great to see all the local yeah. people um, coming together. We've, we've had a word with James Hardstaff, he's there with the vintage section. Yeah, I think yes. it's fascinating looking at farming from the 50s, 60s, and just right the way through, and we were talking about the difference between output from like the 50s equipment to yeah. today's yeah. machines and tractors and that sort of thing. And I think it's great that we're giving everyone an insight, the, the, the non farming community people in here looking at stuff. It's just, it's, it's, a, it's oh, a learning day. Oh, it is learning. I mean, farming, as you know yourself, the innovations have moved on over the, over the years. It's fantastic how it's going forward. And in fact, what we've got this time, we've got the um, dairy cattle, they're going to do a milking demonstration. So people, there's a lot of people, I'm sure, I've never seen the cow milk. So we're going to head over, so uh, the dairy cows are going to do a milking demonstration at the end of the um, judging rings. Oh, brilliant! We'll have to go down there. And yeah, yeah, and do the commentary just to see what people are all about. And you, there's also a demonstration of the um, 
First World War, the end of the 1918. And we've got some very interesting banners there and how much food production was then, the 100 okay. years later, so, and what we produced and what we don't produce. So, and, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so we've done the vintage bit with the machinery and then we've done yeah. the food bit. With, yeah, it's just it's a big learning curve, isn't it? It's, it's fantastic. And uh, later on as well, we've got the lawnmower racing, haven't we, with the young Oh, young farmers. farmers, yeah, that yeah. was a great attraction. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's good. right. Yes, yeah. So we spoke to Callum earlier about, about that. He's going to be judging it, isn't he? Callum Grant. Callum Grant, yeah. oh, right, OK. Yeah. How do you judge a lawnmower race? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> and, um, and then, one hundred breakdown, I think. And then the horses from the, the Peaky Blinders. That's that's quite. Yeah, a yeah, yeah that's a really nice attraction. Yeah, yeah, I think they're really, really interested to see and hopefully people are yeah. enjoying yeah. seeing those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, I just like to thank everybody for coming along and all the competitors. And I hope everybody has a really enjoyable day. And not not such a county show. Brilliant. Thank you for yeah. talking to us. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Thank you. Hi, I'm Fiona from Radio Newark. We're here today at the Nottinghamshire County Show. Um, I'm speaking with Kay. Uh, this is her brainchild today. The Bush Tucker Challenge. Now, what, what's it all about? What's um, happening today? The Bush Tucker Challenge is basically to raise awareness for about our education project, which helps young people. Um, it makes awareness about agriculture apprenticeships, traineeships, work placements, and we also go into schools and help educate children about where their food comes from, how it arrives on their plate. And today is all about food security and food miles. So we're all going to well group of people here are all going to eat some insects. So we have Len from the Canal and River Trust. That's me. Thank you very much. We have uh, John from the Canal and River Trust. We have young Sam here. Young Toby. Christian. Um, is that Helen? Helen. Yeah. Helen. Hi. Josh. And we have Bob Sheldon who um, belongs to the uh, Newark and Nottingham Agricultural Society. He's a very good sport, he's uh, stepped on. Yeah. Stepped on to the plate. I can't believe you're going to eat all So that. what, these volunteers <laughs> then? They're all volunteers. They've all come along um, to take part in the Bush Tucker Challenge. Um, they're all going to eat a selection of insects, starting off very small and getting larger and larger and larger. And we'll see who wins, and the winner wins a prize. So feel free to back out at any time. <laughs> Okay. Or oh, come back tomorrow because it's on again tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah, it's on again tomorrow. We're doing it again tomorrow at 2.30. Same thing. That's the best one.